Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. Okay, I know the timing is fluid, but this is intended for October. So I would urge you, if you watch it now, to watch it again in October. So what do we have for Leo? We'll start right here. What do we have for Leo for the month of October? Love. Love. So that, I mean, hey. It's all about love, right? I mean, I don't, there's probably not a better card in that deck than this one. I mean, it's all about love. Let's see what comes out with it. I mean, hey. What more can I say? We got some blossoms here. It looks beautiful. It does. It looks like it's a beautiful day. There's a whole pile there. We don't want that. Maybe you're going to get flowers. You might get flowers from somebody. Eight of coins. Now, eight of coins, eight of pentacles. That's about hard work, putting in effort. Um, you may, maybe you're going to end up working with this person. Um, this guy looks really happy. He looks like he's happy. He's happy doing what he does. If, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that uh, does wood, woodworking. For a profession, you know, this person has something to do with wood, um, builds things. Doesn't have to be woodworking, but there's a lot of tools. This person works with tools, whoever you're dealing with. It is not going to be easy. I feel as though it's going. you're going to have to put in effort this, this month. You may have to put in effort into a, a relationship or something like that. Um, let's get some of these. Something's going to work out. You're, you're going to be happy too. I, I feel like you're, whatever's happening is going to make you happy. Um, we'll read that love card, what she writes in the book here in just a second. But we all know what love is. Love comes from the heart. I guess we don't need to read it. What do we have for Leo? One more, please. There it is. Mmm. Beware of greed. Bear, danger, especially in money matters, and beware of greed. It's about love. It's not about money. We got money over here and we got love over here. I'm starting to connect. Love is more important than money. Beware of greed, danger, especially in money matters. Boat money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So this has to do with money. It does. It has to do with money. You guys may be focused on money. Maybe you're focused on an inheritance or something that you inherited or something that you bought with an inheritance. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Beware of greed. God put you on this earth for love. Interesting. So what do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the month of October. Ooh, the Empress. Now, you know what the Empress is about? The Empress is about love and abundance. There's room for both. 
there is room for bo both. The Empress is unconditional love. She's also very abundant. But this is the birth of a new life. So you do have a new life that is beginning. Some of you may be pregnant. You may find out that you're pregnant. You know, the Empress, she doesn't... Um, she's abundant with the little things. Okay? Everybody comes to her aid, comes to help her. She she doesn't need for anything because she's she's very creative. She can create her own own abundance through little things. Okay? She's very creative. She creates, she makes things grow. So I feel if you are the woman watching this, that is the Empress energy that you are taking on. This is unconditional love. This is beautiful. You are glowing. You are probably looking very, very beautiful. People are being drawn towards you. You are being seen as um, very generous, probably. Um, motherly. Let's get some more cards. If you are the male watching this, you may have your eye on this woman. This is woman is somebody that is very down to earth, very laid back, and is a creator. This person is a creator. She creates what she needs with very little. Ah, -ha -ha. oh, oh. So we could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know why I said that. That is a Taurus or a Li or a Libra. Interesting, but that could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is crazy. I put my mouth, my finger up to my mouth instantly, like uh oh. I was like oh shh. Now the Empress has multiple options. She does. And and, and anyway, the Strength card reversed was probably your energy. Okay, this does represent Leo. There's weakness here. Some sort of weakness, feeling vulnerable, lack of desire, lack of strength. Oh, we got two. I only meant to pick, ooh, Seven of Swords and the Lover. Seven of Swords reversed. The Lovers is a contract, a union, a partnership, unexpected. You're going to have an unexpected choice in love. You are. You're going to have an unexpected choice in love this month. Somebody could be coming back around. Somebody that cheated you or lied to you or deceived you or vice versa. Okay? Somebody may be finding a new approach. And this is like an unworkable plan. You may be getting together with somebody that you dealt with before. There's weakness here. The Empress knows her value. She doesn't play with boys. Okay? She doesn't cheat either. She doesn't involve herself in third party situations. She knows her value. So this is interesting. This is a this is a cheater. I'm not sure who you're dealing with. You may be dealing with a cheater, somebody that lies. Somebody may be wanting your attention. Okay, somebody's probably going to be wanting your attention this month. It's somebody that you have some sort of connection with. Be careful. Okay, be really, really careful. This is a card of consequences, and this one is too. Remember your value. Remember that, you know, <laughs> just remember your value, please. Karma never loses an address. You might not see it now, but it will come later. Beware of greed. Okay, beware of greed. So anyway, we have a union here. We have an opportunity for love. We definitely do. I think it is with somebody that has deceived you before. They're coming back around. They may see you as vulnerable or weak. Maybe you've changed. Maybe you're... Your uh, empress status now, and this is a test. Aha! Now this is a change. This is a change. That this is uh, evolved. I've evolved. I've changed. Okay. This is the path that represents the journey. Okay. Um, somebody probably wants to reconcile with you.
they may they may say that they've changed but I think that you've changed as well I feel like you have been in that place where you've been weak you know you've been weak maybe there's been some deception but this is a change I want better and the Empress is she knows her value the Empress knows her value. She's a mother. She's beautiful. She knows what she has to offer. You're going to have a choice. You're going to have a choice between two. Oh, five of Cups reversed. This is a new opportunity. You have at least one brand new opportunity. But there's also somebody from the past. There is. There is. I mean, I can't pretend that there isn't. You have a new prospect. And I feel like you are beginning to finally realize your value. Now you got this new thing coming in. Plus you got the old. That you do have a connection with. And you have to choose. Do you want to have a better life, or do you want to, or do you want to stay where you're at? Interesting. Temperance is a card of change, patience, purpose, reconciliation, perhaps. Somebody is testing your strength. Somebody is coming in. They're coming in very, very fast. This is all of a sudden. So you have somebody new here. Just so you know. You do have somebody new. You have somebody that is flying in out of nowhere. Okay, this is somebody that is very direct. Somebody that um, has a lot of balls. Okay, this is somebody that uh, has a plan, uh, is on a mission. They, they, they see your value. They see their beauty. They want you. Okay, if you are the man watching this, I feel like you are headed into an empress's life very, very fast. This empress has other options. Okay, this empress has, has multiple options. Whoever the empress is in this reading, she has multiple options. You're going to have to be on your toes. Because she has choices. Whoever you're headed into, she has choices. She's beautiful and she knows it. And she's been hurt, she's been in pain, and she's not going to settle for anything less than the best. Anyhow, um, it's time for you to make a choice. There's going to be an entrance. Something is entering your life if you are the feminine. If you are the masculine, you are, in, you are entering a woman's life that... that has been hurt and has another option as well. This woman has another option as well. Interesting. Ah, rejection. Somebody's going to get rejected. You're going to have to reject somebody. That's all there is to it. The person that you dealt with before has not changed. They will not change. You may have some sort of fantasy love connection with this person, but they have not changed and they will not change. They may already be in a commitment with somebody else or they cheat they make a lot. There's, 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 if this isn't relationship wise, somebody could be losing their job. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this is like a loss of a job, loss of money. This has to do with work, something, you know, trying to make something work out, it not working out. So something's not going to work out. It's time for a change, no matter what. You're going to need to manage your feelings this month 
you're you you know I think that you've done a lot of healing you've done a lot of inner work and now you have somebody flying into your life and you have to make a choice do you want to keep focusing on the past do you want to keep or do you want to focus on the future this is an opportunity for a new life an abundant life where you're taking care of where you're not doing all the work, but you have to stop deceiving yourself and hanging on to a partnership that isn't meant to be. So I feel like that's what's going on here. Now the six of the six of pentacles reversed is strings attached. It's abuse of power. It's greed. It is greed. It's an injustice. So there's some sort of injustice here. This is not changing. This is somebody that is set in their ways, set on holding on to a partnership that they were are fantasizing about. Looks like a fantasy to me. I feel as though there are other there's another option here that you should be exploring. I think you have a beautiful opportunity for unconditional love if you can look in another direction and accept that something has ended. This comes, the, the temperance card comes after death. That's accepting an ending. Accepting and allowing change. It's blending to create harmony and peace in your life. And I feel like you've been in a state of I don't know, depression. I mean, that's your card reversed. That's low self-esteem, lack of confidence, feeling inadequate, feeling doubtful, being depressed. But now things are finally starting to get better. They're starting to get better because you're starting to accept. Now that you're starting to accept and allow, you have something happening really, really fast. Whoever is coming in, whoever the new person is, I'm not talking about the one in the past, this new person is very smart, very sharp, um, very protective. This could, this is somebody that is very uh, honest, okay, up front, somebody that you can probably trust. I think you can trust this person, but you have to make a choice because this is a choice to not hang on to somebody that doesn't give you what you need that gives you crumbs that lies cheats whatever the hell they do it's your choice you have to make a choice this month you are going to making be making a choice it's a choice between two You definitely have a new love prospect here. But have you changed? Do you know your value? Or you, do you deserve to be second? You be making that choice this month. Good luck. Looks like whoever's coming in to me is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be a Sagittarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be a Sagittarius. If you are a male, you may be headed towards a Taurus or a Libra or a Sagittarius. Could be a Gemini. If you are the male watching this, whoever you are pining for or going after has other options. You are going to have to prove. You're going to have to communicate with this person. If you want the per if you are the male, if you are the woman, you let the male come after you. Unless you're that woman that doesn't know her value and worth. This woman knows her value and worth. She don't chase men. Ever. Not when she's in empress status. Uh-uh. Nope. 
She's the queen and she knows it. Therefore, everybody else knows it too. So anyway, if you're the male watching this, she's she's going to choose she's going to choose the one that fights for her the most. The one that is loyal, the one that is honest, the one that is truthful. The one that hasn't broken her heart. But the one that has broken her heart appears to be coming back around. So, choose wisely. Good luck.